Now we all know the story of David and Goliath, but if we really look, there's a much bigger story here. Chapter 17 shows us the qualities of a king in the making. In verse 16, we see that David respected authority. In 17, he is a servant to his brothers. In verse 20, he's a brave protector and loving shepherd. In verse 23 through 38, David is someone who listens and welcomes the counsel of others. But here's the thing, though he accepted this input, he still had the godly wisdom to know that their approach was wrong for him. All of their opinions were influenced by their fear. They were fighting a spiritual battle with human weapons. How could David be so confident in this? It's because Goliath wasn't the first enemy he had faced. As a shepherd, David trusted God to equip him to be a protector. And over and over again, against bears and lions, God delivered him. In other words, he knew who his God was, and he knew how his God worked. I love David's words to Goliath. The Lord will deliver you into my hand, and I will kill you. In other words, God is going to do the work, and Goliath will be forever known as the mighty giant that blasphemed Yahweh and was taken down by a kid. The battles we face today come to us in physical form, but the real battle is always on our faith. It's spiritual. If the enemy can get you to fear, he's taken your eyes off God. So how should we respond to these battles? Remember David's words to Goliath. Verse 45, Then David said to the Philistines, You come to me with a sword, with a spear, and with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand. 